Last year, former Chancellor Dan Jones announced his plan for diversity. The plan included educating students more on diversity, changing the street name of Confederate Drive, and creating a vice chancellor for diversity position. Candidate Stacy Close spoke today to a group of faculty and staff. He says it was the university's openness about the turbulent times of James Meredith that attracted him to apply for the position. That event did open doors for more African Americans to come to the university. And it also opened doors for you, for you to think about other issues as well. Executive Associate Athletic Director Lynette Johnson was at the forum representing the athletic department. She said the university can't always predict what diversity challenges it may face, but the new vice chancellor can control how the university responds. When we're bringing in an executive level person to, to manage our institution, I think ultimately you can't necessarily handle what what is outside your control. You have to take that and fit it to your policies and your creed. So I think their answers were fantastic. The UM Creed says the campus is dedicated to nurturing a diverse environment. Close told people attending the forum that he wants to bring his experience as Vice President for Equality and Diversity at Eastern Connecticut State to Ole Miss. What started more than 50 years ago with James Meredith integrating the university is still going on today. Many in the Ole Miss community are hoping that the new Vice Chancellor for Diversity position will help move Ole Miss forward. Emily McKenzie, Newswatch, Ole Miss.